kids and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna be making kombucha the first step and then you'll see four weeks later, hopefully. Here are all the ingredients that I have. I have instructions because I'm a nerd. The jar, this is an important ingredient. To have a jar ready, it must be wide mouth, which I'm so lucky that my favorite Kalamata olives jar is exactly like that. Definitely try to reuse your jars. This jar smells, smells like, like olives, olives. And no matter how many times I washed it, it, it still does a little bit, but I don't mind. It will make my kombucha a little like cup. My other ingredient, of course, is this coffee. This this is the superstar. Kind of smells like a kvass. You know what that is? You don't know. What do you know? Anyways, Kobe. So as I found out, this is Chinese grip, my friends, which is known in Russia as the weird mushroom that every babushka grows at home and gives to her neighbors and family and nobody wants to take it. Well, I guess some smart American marketed it, right? And now we pay dozens of dollars for a bottle of kombucha. I got this Kobe at the kombucha making class that I took and this is where I got my instructions as well. So if you can find a local class or just a community Apparently there is like a whole thing on the internet where you can find a Facebook group in your town of people who make kombucha because the more you make it, the more scoby you grow and everyone wants to give it away. So just ask around and you'll be able to get this, I'm sure, for free and locally. The next ingredient is tea. Of course, I am sustainable AF, so I buy my tea loose in the bulk section, in the brown bag, and then I compost this brown bag. So I had to go and shop for tea specifically for kombucha because it must be be unflavored. It can be black or green or white, but it must be unflavored. The reason for that is because sometimes they use essential oils or even maybe some chemicals probably to flavor the tea and that will not be good for your scoby. Wow, do you hear that? The only unflavored tea that I could find in the bulk sec section... In the bulk section? Oh, oh right, section was correct. <laughs> I was like, oh, that sounds so sexy. I can't say that on YouTube. <laughs> English breakfast tea, that's what this is. And it's okay because it's just a blend of black teas, but it's not flavored. So we're gonna be using this today. And next time I would love to try green tea because as they say, it helps with weight management as well. And then I was like, oh shit, we have a problem because after you broil some tea here, then you have to take it out because scoby doesn't do well with the um, tea leaves. Well, actually, you can leave them there, but your scoby will be freckled. That's what they told me at a class. I don't want my scoby to get freckled because what if scoby gets hurt or something? I only have one. So I remember that I have these tea filters from Davis Tea that I've had for over a year. Also, please note that I'm using Christmas gift box for my tea box. Did I tell you how I am sustainable AF? So I'm gonna use one of these filters. Oh my god, so cute! It's like a, you know, tea bag for loose tea. Oh, this is perfect for what I need. Oh, so nice to keep things you don't need. This is the opposite of minimalism, which I preach. 52.91 ounces. Oh, I have a thing here. Come with me. Okay, 32 ounces is one quart. So 52 ounces is like, okay, so it's about half a gallon. Very good. All right. I don't understand gallons. So we learned it's half a gallon and it says nothing to me. So we're gonna proceed with no guidance. Hey, look, I took notes. I'm a nerd, I told you that. Oh, when make a half a gallon batch. Yay! This is perfect. This is exactly what mine is. Half a cup or one third a cup of organic sugar. By the way, sugar, that's another a very important ingredient. This is all the sugar I have and a measuring cup. Tickles first, baby! I think it's kind of better to make it too strong than too weak because if it's too strong you can dilute it. I will be diluting it anyway probably. I am so excited for this bag and they're compostable in them which actually tea bags normally are not because they are a little plasticky but this one seems just papery. I hope so. Okay so we're gonna put this here. Oh and it's a perfect length. Okay I'm gonna take one <laughs> sugar not salt it doesn't smell actually they say the more sugar the tastier it is so what happens is kobe eats the sugar and gets tastier oh, oh i need to put it inside and not leave on the table 
So now we're gonna put the boiling water up to the shoulder. Do not fill up to the top. You need to leave space for about one cup of liquid. Remember that we'll be putting our scoby on top of this. Oh, look at this, I ran out of water. Best traditions of Karina. I'm gonna boil some more. Okay, I'm gonna stir this so the sugar melts. Oh, also your jar must be super, super clean, Ster sterile, sterile clean, Karina clean. So if you have a dishwasher, run it there on the high cycle and you're good to go. All right, so basically right now we're just going to make tea and leave it to cool down. <gasps> oh my god, I just saw a giant, giant, giant box. Oh my god, I hope it's Tesla. What is a Tesla? out in my backyard. Oh my god, how scary! Oh my god, my life is so hard. I did it! Oh, I gotta wash my hair now. Well, so far we didn't mess it up. Shocking, but good news. Cover it with a cloth napkin. Look what I'm gonna cover it with. This is one of those cloth napkins they put around the jar to make it cute. Somebody sent me a wine basket for birthday and it had cheese and the jams, little jam jars. Actually, the one I just used to catch that bug was also from there. See how I reuse things? Learn from me. And so they had these cloth napkins around them and I was so upset because it's so unnecessary. But this one I'm gonna use for good cause. And look how it's perfect size. I love when things are perfect size. And also I get to use my hairband that I no longer have use for because I don't have hair anymore. You see? Reusing. You just cover it so like a fly doesn't fly into it. You could just throw a little cloth napkin on it. A big one. Nobody cares. So here we go. Kalamata Olive Sweet Tea Future Kombucha. That's amazing. So we're gonna leave it to cool down for about an hour and then we're gonna come back, remove the tea bag and we're gonna add this Kobe. So that's the most exciting part. Stay tuned. Alrighty, hi. It's one hour later and this is nice and warm. I wish I could just drink it. It's so yummy. I tried it. This is my new composting container that I'm gonna use to collect my compost and freeze. I normally would freeze my compost in the brown bags, which works amazing actually, because then you just drop it in your bucket. But I decided I also want something more shapeful. <laughs> I really loved having an excuse for eating the whole freaking gigantic jar of cookies. Yay! It was so good. I'm gonna take this tea bag right now. So this copy you're gonna get comes with a little bit of kombucha. You're supposed to have tongs to pick this up. I don't have that, so this might be quite a show for you. Oh my god, it's like jellyfish! Ooh. And then just pour the juice. Oh, yes, baby. Hi there! Hey, gorgeous! I'm gonna reuse this plastic container that I got it in. Also, by the way, these Kalamata olives are amazing. And I just wanted to brag that during one hour break, I had a soup for dinner, and the soup that I made on the olive brine, I I tried to reuse literally everything, at least once. Look, I bought one jar of olives, I ate the olives, made soup on the brine, and I'm using a jar to make kombucha. Efficiency runs this household. Well, this actually went well. I thought it's supposed to sink, well, but it's already up. I'll take it as a good sign. Oh my god, I just made kombucha. I'm oh, definitely gonna cover it because it's gonna be hanging around four weeks. I'll definitely gonna take a taste in two weeks. Also, I have a question for you for the comments down below. The teacher at the class told us that people often name their scobies. Can you please name mine? Comment down below with the name ideas for my Oh, uh, look how And cute. of course, subscribe to my channel. You know I like doing everything by myself, DIYing things, and I will teach you too. It looks cute. Fully reused materials for my kombucha. <gasps> look. Kobe. Nice and warm like Bubachika. I'm gonna put this in the fridge. I'm gonna take you with me when I'm checking on her and tasting her for the first time. Also then I will be flavoring her. Lots of stuff to come. Stay tuned. Hello, it is the future now and it's time to harvest our kombucha. Ta -da! Oh, <laughs> but I have to say it's good. Oh my god, it's so good! Wow. Wow. <laughs> this is really cool. This is so fun.
fun. Not bad at all. Ah. Strong. Strong. Amazing. Ah. I have a new investment that I made into this reusable steel tea filter situation. It has a hook here, so I can hook it up, even like that. Oh my god, so cute! Highly recommend tea bagging. Yay! Reminds me of my stripper days. <laughs> okay, bye bye! Boop! Ah! Damn it! Ah! That's what you get for bragging, Karina.